Hey everybody, Motorport 59 here. Um, a while back, the Washington Post uh, hired a photographer and sent one of their reporters to New York to try and find out where Tucker Carlson, the Fox political analyst, to find out where he and his family stay while they're in New York. They don't live there, but that's he spends a lot in the fan the family they spend uh, quite a bit of time in New York and uh, they it, it was found out that they were trying to figure out where his family lives and he was sent uh, messages that says we're gonna find out where you live and we know where you are and all this stuff uh, it was never proven who sent that to the best of my knowledge but uh, it was sent and naturally Tucker Carlson reacted and and posted that story or, or discussed that story in his show. And uh, I don't read Tucker Carlson's uh, website and I don't read the Fox News website, but I did follow that uh, a little bit. Uh, I did see the piece Tucker Carlson did on it. I know he did a couple of pieces on it, but I only saw one of them. But uh, anyway, the uh, Post said that they weren't going, they said they, I guess they contacted Carlson and told him, we're not going to uh, publish that information should we find it out, which, <laughs> but why anyone would trust the mainstream media today is beyond me, especially a conservative. But anyway, they said they wouldn't publish it, but Tucker Carlson keeps talking about it. And uh, all of a sudden the media is butthurt about it and, and the Washington Post is butthurt about it. Uh, because he continues to talk about it, even after they said they wouldn't uh, pursue that. Uh, they might not put it in their paper, but if you think the people who find out where they live and take pictures of where they live won't pass that on to someone, you're not paying attention to what's going on in the world right now. Uh, Carlson and his family, would they actually ever be in any real danger? Probably not, because the leftists, they're real good at standing in people's front yards and telling them to get out and crashing their gates and stuff. But when it comes to actually taking action against someone, they're pretty much always cowards, unless there's a hundred of them. Uh, I don't know where Tucker Carlson lives in New York. I don't know if he lives in New York City or whatever. I don't know. I don't pay that much attention. I'm not, the, I'm not interested. I don't care. But uh, newspapers... Main Street, any media outlet should never be allowed to do that kind of thing. Uh, the paparazzi, even when they're chasing stars, should be, uh, that should be banned. They should not be able to take pictures of people taking their trash out. Uh, these people are weirdos. And the, what the, the biggest, scariest part is the Americans that watch E.T. and TMZ and all this stuff and uh, give these people a platform. If you're one of those people, you're an idiot. You are a complete and total idiot. If uh, you give a rat's ass what some star is doing outside their house or if they're sunbathing or uh, playing with their kids, whatever they're doing, if you care about that, you're an idiot. You're a loser. And it's people like you who create this atmosphere in the mainstream media of all this I don't even know what to call it. I, I, I'm at a loss for words. I get so upset about it. And I don't mean crying upset. I want to go out and punch somebody in the throat. But uh, Tucker Carlson has every right to keep talking about this. He has every right to denounce the mainstream media for being involved in this. And he has every right to not trust them, not to disclose that information. And in my opinion, he has every right to go after these people who... Uh, if, if they were to release his information, they, he has every re to, right to go after them legally. Uh, I don't know. What do you think? Let me know in the comments below. Shoot me an email, motorpoet 59 at gmail.com. Like, share, subscribe, and click on the bell if you want to be notified of future content. And I'll see you all later.